Now, um, to continue, I'm going to um, do the next task, which is to update and to um, delete. So this one will um, focus on probably the um, um, delete first. But then um, there are many options for you to delete. Let's say if you click on uh, an, an, an item, if you have complicated view, long view, and you display only a few, it should display only a few items on a row like this. And if you click on this one, it should bring you to a new form display the details data. And you have a button to click on delete or click on update that form. This one is one approach. Um, another approach is I prefer to um, use the um, 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 context menu just to do more about context menu as well. So if you do a long click on this one, uh, it's gonna show you the option in order to it's gonna show you an option in order to um, 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 in order to uh, let's say uh, delete or um, um, update. Okay, delete or update. So we're going to um, uh, build that menu first. Okay, you wanna build that menu first. So I'm gonna go down here, and we're gonna right, uh, click on this one from the menu. I'm gonna right click, and I'm going to create a menu resource file. And this one is the menu context, okay, or update delete. This one is uh, in inside this menu file. We have two items. Item the ID. This one is the ID is menu item um, um, updates. And the title is update. Okay, this one is the first item. Duplicate it. Uh, you have another item which is delete. Okay, this one is delete. Okay, so for this menu, with this pop up menu, we have two menu items one is menu item update, and another one is menu item delete. Okay, so um, for the load activity, for the load activity, for using that um, 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 menu item, we first need to register um, 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 for context menu for this list view products. So we long click on that list view product. It's gonna pull up the 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 the, the um um. Uh, it's gonna pull up the uh, the 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 um um, um pull, uh, context menu. So this dot register register for context menu list view products dot um. Just that one. Then, um, in order to process the context menu, to display the context menu, display context menu. So if you trigger, if you long click on this one, then it's gonna trigger the context menu. It's going to um to 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 create the new context menu. Then it's gonna come to this method, and you should override it on context menu create or on create context menu. See. So if you if you long click, if you long click on this um, list view or in the view. It's going to trigger and create the menu like this. It's create a menu and it's passed that menu to um, um, a method which is on create menu. It's called that menu and you're going to uh, load the menu you know, into it. So you're going to use um, um, if you want to make sure make sure that the um, 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 view that user click is the list view. So you're going to check if the view the view here that user long click on is the um, um, list view view dot get id equal to R dot ID dot list view products. So again, the view that the user long click is here. And make sure it's our list view product by checking it. And if it is uh, uh, list view products, then you can what you're gonna do is you gonna do um, you gonna do is um, you gonna uh, uh, this dot okay, this dot get menu inflator. Dot, you're gonna inflict the menu resource, which is r dot menu dot the menu for update delete, and the menu object is menu over there. Menu object is the menu over there. This menu. Okay. Done. Okay. Done. Done. So if you run this one and this is that's the menu first. Okay. And if you long click, okay. If you long click, let's just look at this one. Click on load. If you do a long click on this one, yep, it pop up the menu. So you can click on update, long click, it pop up the menu. You can click on delete. Okay. So so far the update and the delete doesn't work yet. So we gonna handle that one. In order to handle that um, one, you're going to need to override the uh, next method, which is on um, 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 context item selected. Okay. On context item selected. It's gonna give you the menu item that you selected. So on this context item selected, we're going to handle 
what we're going to handle is we're going to check um, switch on the case of, of item dot get item ID and check okay and check um, a case it is r dot ID dot menu item um, um, updates you're gonna do the update and break okay case it's r dot ID dot uh, menu item delete you're gonna do the delete and then you break okay you're gonna do the delete and then you break and uh, for this time we're going to handle the simpler one first which is the delete one okay which is a delete one okay and uh, for delete we need to um, handle some code inside the database we need to handle some code inside the database so it's product handler so you need to provide a method for delete so we're gonna say public public void delete product um, we're gonna uh, when you delete product you need to provide the ID of the product to delete okay and again you're gonna use rdb dot delete okay when we delete we need to specify um, control P from the table is delete from table products the where clause is ID equal to okay this one is the where condition you delete from product where ID equal to a parameter this question mark is a parameter and I'm gonna specify that question mark equal to new string you need to give the arguments for the parameters and that one is the ID and this one there is a very dangerous error here okay um, uh, oh it's safe now because you say this one is a string uh, so again okay, good you're gonna put this one with a string to make it um, a string then only this one only this line of code inside the database you are able to delete the products okay? you are able to delete the products okay and once you are able to delete products you need to go to the um, load activity and use that one to delete products is the um, database handler database handler Okay, uh, product handler. Sorry, in order to delete. But when you delete, you need their ID of the products. Okay, you need their ID of the products in order to delete. Okay, you need their ID. Oops, undo. You need the ID of the products in order to delete. So again, if you long click on this one, okay, you need to know this ID that you selected. Okay, this ID that you selected. So. In order to know the ID that you are selected, okay, what we want to do right now is we are going to handle uh, the events which is on long click of this of this item to get the position it it it's, it is selected, okay. So we are going to get back to the list view here, okay. From this one, uh, uh, check which item was long click. So I'm gonna declare outside here. Uh, in selected position okay and by default it's minus one because it doesn't select any, any position so um, I'm going to say the list view products dot I'm gonna set on item long click if you long click on an item it's going to handle the methods which is creating on new on item long click and it's gonna generate this method for you. Make sure this one's return form. And if you don't know this one, please watch my video regarding handling events with 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 with, with um, Android. Okay. And for this one, it's especially if you long click on an item. If you long click on an item, it won't call to that method too. It won't call to this method on item long click. And it gives you the position that you click on it. So you can get selected position equal to the position that you it's it gives you so this one is several lines of code okay this one is several lines of code that you um, if you need to type uh, don't type this one uh, if you create new um, on item long click press enter so it generates this um, code for you okay don't type so if you need to type here it's a code okay? don't type don't type but if you need to type here it's a code Okay, pause it and, and see it. now so if you know the selected position already uh, when you handle the update when you handle, handle the delete or update item you're gonna move the cursor to that positions so you say cursor oh okay so the cursor that we created the cursor that we created here is being used in different places it's being used in different places so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna declare this one outside copy this one okay 
then I'm gonna delete this declaration and declare it outside here because that cursor now is still being used down here okay so you gonna take cursor dot move to move to positions to move to move to dot move to position is the uh, selected position okay the selected position is under here when you long click on an item you keep the position of the item that you long click on okay then when you move to that one but uh, before that you need to check uh, make sure that selected position is greater than greater than zero okay greater than or equal to zero or greater than minus one okay then enter this one if it's greater minus one then we're gonna do this thing otherwise don't do otherwise don't do okay then we're going to gather then we're going to get the um, 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 int id from the cursor dot get int out from the column number zero this one is you're going to use the cursor to get an integer values out of column number zero this one is what i explained during the theory down here during the theory around here you can get int from the first column this one is first column column number zero okay it is an integer it's going to return you Okay, because cursor is currently pointing to the row here. Okay, and if you get a um, name, you get the string with column number one, which is string. Column number one is a string. Then, similarly, uh, similarly, if you delete, you need to know that ID is done. Okay, okay, it's done. And um, when it's deleted, when it is deleted, we should reload our we should reload our um, um, load activity. So we should really reload the uh, if it is deleted we should reload the load activity you should reload your list view we should reload your list view so in order to reload your um, um, load view you can see from this uh, from this table from this table okay um, um, I see the um, simple cost adapter here is outdated so we miss one field you can add this field this one is you will say um, you can add a flag of the cost adapter this is a flag okay this is flags about um, uh, content observers okay then next one so you will see from this line of code down to from this line of code down to down to here okay from this line okay from cursor down to here this other line of code for you to um, access to the cursor and load the data uh, and we gonna uh, like to write the same line of codes like this okay same line of code from here down to here after um, set um, adapter is gonna display um, um, in diff many different places so I'm gonna select them first select them right click you're gonna use refactor select each track then you each track or method I'm gonna name this method at loads. Okay, loads, load, 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 uh, load what now? Load products. Okay, load products. Click on OK. So this one is a method load products right now. Okay, and when we delete our when we delete our products, you can choose load products there. Choose load products over there. Okay, you can choose load products over here. Then if you execute this one, if you execute this one now, uh, uh, your update is not working, but your delete is gonna work. Okay, your delete is gonna work. So, okay, so if you click on loads, okay, click on load, then you long click on this one and you choose delete. Now it's deleted, now it's deleted. Okay, now it's deleted so that is for this is for the update oh sorry for the delete okay for the delete, delete. so in general for the delete you need to um, handle also the um, long click on the item the long click on the item to know which which position was selected okay to know which position was selected this position and you put into the selected position so that when you handle the um, 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 context menu item selected you know that selected position then you move the cursor to that position okay use navigation operations there then you get the data out which is the ID if you know the IDs you can use product handler to delete it 
okay in the next video what i'm going to do there